Whoa, what's down? Today's video is on Charlemagne the God, because he ain't sneaking off, Angela Rye, Farrakhan, and the fool that they seem to still think that black people are, goddammit. Let's put the clip up. Mm -hmm. He's not attacking all Jewish people. Just like he doesn't attack all black people. He, you know... Uh, he also says a lot of stuff that's, like, homophobic. Like, a lot of stuff. Well, I think a lot about... of that is old school, just being... A, a, a older 80 something year old black man I guess my thing is being old dumb meaning that you can be like dumb and a bigot you know, I'm not, and mm -hmm. I'm not calling him dumb, but I'm saying you don't have to speak ignorantly because you're old. Now, y'all hear Charlemagne, lame ass, starting it all stuttering, talking about he don't uh, t -t attack all Jews and blacks and this, that, and the third, and she hops in. Well, he says a lot of stuff that's homophobic, a lot of stuff. She put a whole quick emphasis on that. And to me, I feel like the word homophobic is fucking dumb as hell. I know gay people are homosexuals, whatever you want to call yourself people need a new word you know they need their own n-word or they need their own anti-semitic so they threw up homophobia but the fucking word don't make sense because let's read it an extreme or irrational fear of aversion to something he had a phobia about being underwater synonyms abnormal fear irrational fear obsessive fear fear dread horror i don't think minister farrakhan fear black i mean homosexual people when he walk in on the goddamn street you did like oh it's a gay person i'm about to run i hope i dread the sight of them you understand what i'm saying i have an obsessive fear of them no that's not what the fuck it is so what is she talking about homophobia and the shit that the dudes say to me is not radical at all i know some of y'all these day and age it might come off as radical but that dude tame is a motherfucker to me you dig but i digress what let me clear my motherfucking throat <clears> throat> she jumps in my thing is being old doesn't mean you can be dumb and a bigot so basically she called him fucking dumb and a bigot i don't care what she said when she followed it up by saying and i'm not calling them dumb but you don't have to speak ignorant which basically means i ain't calling them dumb but i'm calling them ignorant y'all dig what i'm saying and then hobson charlemagne the motherfucking fraud talking about he think a woman should be the vice president she quickly interjected said shit a, a woman should be the main candidate he gonna quickly say oh i like kamala you know all happy and shit and i'm like this motherfucker here i don't see how people still listen to this dude all fucking breakfast club but anyway he said i have a problem with black people well we know your fake ass got a problem with black people but he said i have a problem with black people who love joe biden and bernie sanders because um joe biden wrote the crime bill and bernie sanders was with it too he signed it basically you know trying to throw her that agenda biscuit because he continued and said but yet they give hillary shit and she was the first lady and he give kamala shit and she was the prosecutor that's what she's supposed to do see it was a legenda thing he wanted to throw out there but let's block talk break down all this little dumb shit because it didn't fly by us god damn it i don't know where the fuck you been at Charlemagne, but we don't give a fuck about joe the crime bill fucking biden god damn it we don't give a fuck about him either we asked simone sanders she represented bernie we ain't give a fuck about him last year we don't give a fuck about him or him so you could try to throw her the gender biscuit and throw black people under the bus like it's easy for y'all to do i got a problem with black people with y'all getting them a pass no we don't give them a pass we don't give a fuck about joe biden or bernie sanders so i know you might be a little out of touch sitting inside there with all the liquor behind your your dumb ass you dig but we don't give a fuck about bernie or joe as for the other two let's block talk break they dumb ass down First of all, let's start with the bright one. Hillary Clinton, yeah, you accurate on that. She was the first lady, which means she have influence over the first man, the goddamn president. She could have said, bruh, don't sign that fucked up crime bill, bruh. Joe Biden out here trying to get niggas locked up, and he giving the states incentives to keep them people in jail longer, goddamn it. Don't do that, husband. Don't do that, because then she stand on other issues, you dig? Just because you first lady don't mean you just sitting there. Remember uh, what his name is, Reagan wife, when she was out there with her crusade on crack, running around with his dumb ass, you dig? 
pig. Remember that? Don't act like she was just innocent and she was just sleeping in the White House. She didn't know what was going on. That little dirty motherfucker knew everything. And don't talk about three strikes. She was for all of that, her and her husband. Back when it was cool to be tough on crime, lock a nigga up quick. You understand what I'm saying? She don't get no motherfucking pass out here. So I don't know what you talking about. And that's for the other one. I know people who was directly affected by old friend Kamala Harris, the nigga hitting prosecutor right here. Fucking uh, your parent, your fucking mama miss uh, five days of school. You know, the type of shit. That shit happens, bro. A kid probably gets sick more than five times. Kamala Harris was trying to lock you up. That was just a part of getting more people in jail. Keeping on getting that fucking bill, getting that crime bill money. You understand what I'm saying, people? That's what it was about. So Charlemagne, sit your lame ass down and stop acting like people giving some gender pass or some bullshit. But yet you won't say black people. Why you ain't say men then if it was about everybody? See, people be picking and choosing when they won't use that old everybody talk. But when they won't diss black people, they specifically know how to say black people. But when they won't say all oh, that everybody shit, oh, it's minorities now and all of that. I even hear in some articles where they'll say immigrants and minorities are voting for what the fuck are you talking about? If you say immigrants, you just excluded Mexicans. Then you say minorities. What you talking about? Blacks and Asians? Get the fuck out of here because everybody know Asians ain't nothing but white people with fucking some eyes on them. God damn it. But we continue. Put a riot dumb ass uh, picture because she was the next one to start talking. Angela Rye hops her dumb ass in talking about slave mentality. And then she said, well, specifically when it come to Kamala Harris. See, they still think that slave mentality little uh, slogan shit gonna keep working. I'm sorry to tell y'all this, but that don't work no more. Y'all can't get us with that and slogans like crab in a barrel no more. Because people like you is the chosen crabs who get out the barrel and make sure all the other crabs stay the fuck down. So so that shit don't work no more but she says the slave mentality we give passes to other races but we don't get the same passion to understand and shit to our own race no as i just told y'all we fucking over all these goddamn democrats so that is not the motherfucking case uh angela fucking rye you dig it's because kamala harris be out here trying to get people locked up getting people locked up even after they've been found innocent uh, um i made a video on it on a couple Couple young men, you dig the man name slipped me. Damn, what the fuck? What was his name? But anyway, fuck. Just go back to the video. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But even after D, the DA was laying up there saying we can't convict this dude, Kamala Harris was still trying to get that fucking dude locked up. That's why we not fucking with her. So y'all could keep beating up black people because it seemed like that's what the whole fucking segment was about. You did saying how stupid black people is, but it's not the goddamn truth. We just not having y'all shit no more. You dig what I'm saying? Then she come and say, oh, even Cory Booker. The challenges he done face. Fuck Cory Booker. Talking about the challenges he faced. That dude ain't face no goddamn challenges. He just thought that because he spoke what white people call proper English and he had the right skin color that he was just going to slide through. But it's not the fucking case. But Angela Rye, lame ass, she says, oh, because he don't sound black. Like, she, they really think black people just so fucking ignorant saying what she hears that he don't sound black. She thinks she wanted to give the most menial fucking um issue that she could fucking find that people had with Cory Booker because she couldn't think of how he couldn't be specific on what the fuck he gonna do for black people. She ain't won't go that route, huh? You ain't won't say that when he was up in front of that crowd he was talking about doing something for uh lower class people and blue collar workers and this that and the fucking third but he couldn't specifically say black people what he gonna do for black fucking people and still using that minorities talk we not being looped in like that no more i don't know if they get it yet that minority shit we not being identified as that no more and she said i know he sound data specific which means basically when black people talk we don't sound data specific huh we don't sound how you uh specifically want us to hear you want to hear that proper english like some of these motherfuckers come on my channel saying speak english bitch fuck english i will fuck english up on every chance i get just to get your fake ass 
ass off my video and just to piss off colonizers, goddammit. I love fucking up this language. But anyway, she like, I know he sounds data driven, so I feel why they don't like him. But that ain't a good reason to not vote for him. See, don't that um like straight up let y'all know what I said was true? She's saying the only reason stupid black people ain't voting for him because he don't sound black. See, y'all ain't never heard that before. They just think we don't vote for people for specifically little dumb shit like that. Oh, he don't sound black. Or he ain't play a saxophone. Or he ain't as smooth as Obama. See how she trying to make us look like we ain't the type of people who analyze how the fuck he ain't speaking to blacks specifically. Or his record on blacks, you dig? How he have never done something for us specifically. How he can always say minorities are gays. See when he, see when Cory Booker was talking about gay marriage, he was talking about helping gays oh we gonna do this for the gays or oh, we gonna get our gay marriage and the gay shit is just like the civil rights that shit ain't nothing like that god damn it see when he was speaking to them he was speaking directly to them god damn it but when it's blacks he's trying to say well minorities and people of color and all of that man we don't want to hear that bullshit no more and we don't want to hear from fake motherfuckers like ryan motherfucking charlamagne the motherfucking fraud you dig or fucking kamala the nigga hating prosecutor but I digress. She said that's not a good reason to vote because we dumb niggas like, you know what I'm saying? And she said she don't have no favorites right now because basically, as y'all could tell, none of them ain't give her a job yet. So she kept it safe on all of them. Biden cool, Sanders cool, uh, Clinton, she was cool. She was just the first lady. And Kamala, she cool. Everybody cool. Until somebody play me, then that's going to be my favorite, you dig? And then uh, what else that, uh, what it was? Just someone to beat. She said she just wanted somebody to beat Trump. Yeah, my bad. She just want, see how dumb that is? Look at her logic. See how she tried to paint black people out as dumb. Oh, y'all ain't voting for from because he don't speak the witch and no jive but her she go by the logic of whoever the fuck be trump i'll vote for him so your dumb ass will give any racist idiot a fucking vote as long as they beat trump so you letting the people little plan just go smoothly with you you just so terrified by trump you'll give anybody your vote gary coleman anybody from the fucking grave anybody will get your vote as long as they beat trump then after that charlemagne the guard what did he say they you think uh celebrities is cool uh celebrity endorsements and all of that bullshit put his dumb ass face up so i could feel better yelling at him this motherfucker gonna say uh do you think celebrity endorsements is cool and her yeah so you know what he was saying by that man you think we need jigger and all of them all of the little black ones to come out and tell them to vote and to vote for kamala you think that'll get the niggas out of their seat because all they want to do is hear music or hear their favorite rapper promote somebody you think that'll do good and she was like yeah it'll do good but they gotta actually do something so basically what she's saying is like uh basically uh what david banner or somebody saying man go out and vote uh uh t what his name is pub uh ti or somebody saying go vote they she saying you should be more like pub daddy and run all over the town just coon and saying vote or die vote or die vote for uh, vote for democrats blindly voting blind voting blind you know what i'm saying that's what she's saying we we don't need Jay-Z and them to just get them niggas in. We need Jay-Z and them to really go out on a campaign trail and get these Democratic votes in. That's what the fuck she's saying, you dig? Because once again, we dumb niggas and we just want to hear people who talk the witch and no jive just like us because we too stupid to actually understand the issues at hand. Thanks to her and Charlemagne the guy, we just dummies according to them, y'all. Ooh, we too stupid. Stupid to know. We just want somebody who going to have Jay-Z on their side. And somebody who could say, play the saxophone like Clinton and all of that. Y'all see what I'm saying? And this shit you did wasn't about no Farrakhan, as you can see. Because they not about to use him as no puppet. And I ain't one of them niggas who about to give him sympathy. Because I don't give a fuck about people who killed Malcolm. And y'all know fucking well right they played their role in it. And this the fucking, this the year of his, I mean the month of his fucking death, goddammit. 
And I be damned if I'm about to give sympathy to Farrakhan, who ain't nothing but another fucking figurehead at Dez, you dig? Y'all know he got a script. I'm not falling for that, you dig? He got a script. He knew what was coming before they banned him. They told him, hey, we about to get you this sympathy, have some of these people. Maybe you'll get some of the blacks to move toward Nation of Islam. You know, I'm, nah, I'm not falling for the bullshit, but what I'm not about to do is attack him either, you dig? But don't think I'm up here caping, you dig? I'm not. Not at fucking all. But I digress and elaborating like a motherfucker. Once again, y'all holler at me.